three, three barn owls, two, two were on the second door. They were both, well, you'll see the footage, they were both next to each other. And then another one flew out. And the post that, <laughs> that I kind of just wrapped onto a steel defense post out of here, it landed straight on it. So guys, we're out again this evening. We had a fantastic morning with the kingfishers this morning, just proving how effective this hide is. Now what we're gonna do, I'm on a barn owl site now. So we have the barn behind me there, uh, where I know that they are nesting. So we're, we're out of range. We're not, uh, we're not disturbing them in any way. We're gonna put the hide up. They hunt on this field here. So what I wanna do is just get set up and catch them when they're quartering over this field and we'll see how effective the hide is. So we're gonna set up now. We're six o'clock, so I'm expecting them to maybe, to maybe come out you know, in another hour. And um, yeah, the, the light is, should be beautiful tonight. So we've got the, the sun setting behind us. So hopefully we should get some lovely flight shots. We have a couple of posts set up over here and all being well, if the hide works as it should do, uh, we should we should get some good shots tonight. So. person hide that I've uh, recently acquired. I'm trying to use it as much as I can. You know, all different settings, different scenarios, different uh, different ways shooting out of different windows, and it's proving to be a, an absolute winner. I love it. It's fantastic. So tonight we're about I don't know, probably 60 yards from this barn, and the field behind quarter over this field. It's absolutely beautiful and tonight I'm hoping to get some nice nice footage tonight. There's a stone post that they just hop out of the barn and sometimes they'll land on this big stone post. That's my objective tonight, is to try and get some pictures of that. I haven't managed it yet, but hopefully it's the first time that I've actually been down to this location and used the hide. Usually they're, they're quite tolerant, so they're, they're used to people working around it. There's a bit of development going on. Uh, but I'm hoping that the hide's just going to give me that bit of an edge tonight. So, we've got the... Um, what we've got set up here. Oh, there you go. We've got the Nikon D500 with the Sigma 150 to 600 Contemporary, which should cope all right tonight. We obviously need a bit more light with it only, you know, going down to f5.6. But hey, you've got to you've got to use what you've got, haven't you? But I've had some good shots with this. It's all right. So that's, we're shooting out of this, this end window today. You can see, this is up through the top ventilation scrim. I should be able to just zoom in there. There you go. So hopefully that's where our barn owl's gonna come out. Sometimes it comes out of there, and sometimes it comes out of there sits on that door sometimes so we don't know we've got uh, we've got three options 
But yeah, if you have a look out here, that's the field. Absolutely perfect for barn owls, that. It's one that isn't cut, so there's plenty of length in the grass. Perfect for voles. Absolute prime hunting territory for barn owls. I've actually put a post out as well, so you can see we've got that rather than them rubbish round posts. I've put that on. You never know, do you? Imagine a barn owl sat on that. Beautiful, isn't it? We've actually put another one further down. Can, where is it? Oh, there it is. You can just see the top of it. Bit of a mossy one. Can't quite see it for the grass. But trust me, it's there. So, that's the game tonight. Hopefully we're going to get something good. So I'm going to put me here. Uh, Put this on. Give me every single chance. I've got my gloves on as well. Cause it's surprising. I mean, you know, even though we're in a hide, the, their eyesight is that keen. You know, if it just sees like a bit of a reflection off your skin through the scrim, you'll put it off. So give yourself every advantage you can. You know, it's only a camouflage head scarf, but it might just make all the difference. Let's see what we get. tell to be honest but I had two sat on on the middle door they, they flew out they were watching one flew out must have been an adult that one onto the stone post that I've, I've never managed to catch him on that and then not only did it land on that it flew to my left and the that fantastic branch that that I got, that I tied to the post, it went and landed on that. So I literally had to slide the camera off the off the video head and 
luckily it was looking the other way. So I managed to get some shots handheld. I managed, the, the light's pretty good still, so 500th of a second. ISO is about, about 400, I think. So this should be tack sharp then. Oh, wow. You know, some, some nights, I don't know, well, you, I've been going out lately and I've been getting a few shots and that, but nothing groundbreaking. You get a bit disillusioned sometimes. You know, you come back a bit fed up, but it's nights like this where everything just <laughs> just all happened at once within the space of five minutes. I got some absolute belting shots. I'll show you some back. I'll just take this off. I'll show you on the back of the camera. Oh, I made up with that. Makes it all worthwhile, doesn't it? Let's have a look. So, there we go. That's one sat in the, um, sat in the pop hole. And then, got a lot of video. There's the two. <laughs> Get them. Sat there looking, and then there's the one sat on the stone post. I mean, that is beautiful. I'm well chuffed with that. I mean, I'd have been happy with one of these to be honest tonight, but say some nights it just all comes together, and then there it flew onto that beautiful post. Background's perfect as well, so. Got some air shots tonight, well chuffed. So I think we're gonna we'll go back up. I'm gonna show you that branch that I put out on that uh, on that fence post. Work to treat that. Look at me face, I fell asleep in garden today. I'm like a friggin' umpa lumper. Anyway, let's have a look. Right. I just done as proud that eye tonight. There we go. See you there. So there you can see. the post that we put out. Nope. That's all it is. You know, look at that. It's a cracker in it. Loads of features on it. Beautiful. And then all I've done is just tied it on. I'll take that with me. I don't want to leave that there. Someone might take it off but um, yeah what the chances of that eh landing on there absolutely just goes to shore doesn't it you know if you if you find something like that just I mean that would just pot luck to be honest I mean the thing is you've got that fence line all the way down there and all them posts they're all the same height so all my reasoning was, you know, there's a, it's probably another foot higher than the rest of them. You know, there's half a chance that it might land on it. It might just be a little vantage point for it to have a look out on. And uh, yeah, as luck would have it, it landed right on it and I got some good shots. So it's worth a go in it. So yeah, just another idea for you. So that's the first first night using this this hide so it's um, it's definitely proved its worth and I'm hoping it's going to be a good luck charm <laughs> brilliant I think we've got probably about another half an hour's worth of light so I'm hoping I might get a few more shots but it was only a little 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 film this I've been meaning to do some filming down at this this barn owl location for a good while but I just wanted to come down, try the hide out, and uh, 
yeah, yeah, and just show you what uh, what's going on down here. So, yeah, well, um, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching, and uh, hey, give us a like, hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit that bell icon for all the new videos, and um, yeah, we'll see you out there from a very happy, happy bunny. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye now.